this is number one, my first ever vlog. Hmm. Well, where should I begin? I'm mad. I live in England, have done all my life. Ex forces, now work in utilities. But nothing interesting. I thought with these videos I could just use it as a virtual diary or video diary. And I just use it colour my thoughts and feelings while I'm driving around, enjoying a bit of peace and quiet in the van between journeys and discuss different topics on each one. And what I've been currently thinking about is learning how to ride a motorbike. Yeah. All went wrong. I've thought about doing it for a while now. Maybe two, three years. But for some reason I've just never got around to doing it. Whether it's money, time, all of the above. But I'd love to give it a go at some point. Now, I've uh, had my eye on one specific bike recently, which is the Indian Scout Bobber. Which is it. And I don't know what's drew me to it. I think it's just, I like that. It's like that cross between a rocker look and like that typical like cruiser look for a motorbike, which I think is really nice. I think I might get my uh, license at some point, but I'd love to just do like a taste of it to make sure it's definitely something I want to do before I really start investing. It's, uh, it has intrigued me for quite a while. I, uh, um, I think I probably will do it. I just need to get a few other things out of the way first and get a few expenses to get before it, or savings to get before it, so I can learn how to do that properly. Now, with that, we are going home to the shack. Looking forward to that. A bit of a crap segue, but you know. It's crazy how expensive holidays are these days. They, uh, five of us has cost it, well, the cheapest we could get it for was £2,500, which, to some people, is not a lot of money, but to us, that's a lot of money. That's self catering, nothing else included, just flights and hotel. I don't always like in other countries for stuff like that, or, um, like, the packages you can get in your country. I don't know, leave it in the comments below. I'll be interested to find out. But, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite looking forward to it. It's going to be our first family holiday together abroad. We're going to Spain, of all places. I've not been to Spain since I was a kid. So, it'll be interesting to see what, how the kids find it. And I can imagine they're going to love it, especially the pool and the beach. Uh, the little two have been talking about wanting to go on a plane for years, so they're going to be absolutely infatuated by that. Yeah, we're going to northern Spain. I haven't been there, like I said, since I was a kid, so I don't really remember much. I've got to brush up on my Spanish, I think. I know, I know, hello and thank you. That's about it. Oh, and uh, how are you? Yeah, I'll uh, have to take like a little crash course in how to speak like basic Spanish so I can at least try. Not sure, but 
much of those pronunciations, but I think that's what we call it. But yeah, Dubrovnik specific, uh, specifically. Uh, we love to go to places where you can try new foods, see a bit of the culture. We don't go on holidays and go, oh, where's the McDonald's? It's like, oh no, what, what would you like to eat? What, what's the local foods? That's, that's what we go for. So, I, when we, we went to Italy last year, we went to Sorrento last year, and first thing we did, we walked into the hotel, said to the receptionist, I was starving, we've not eaten all day, we've been traveling for the last 12 hours. And what would you recommend? Where would you, you like to go? And he was like, oh, what, what type of food would you like to try? It's like, where would you take your family? That's what we want to try. So that's like seafood, traditional Italian, steak, whatever. Like, what, where do you like over your family? He was made up with that. He um, turned, he was like straight away, he was like, oh, I've got three restaurants I'll give, I'll give you. It's like the first one, it's uh, seafood down on the, at the old harbour. He was like, it's my favourite place to go. He was like, if you like seafood, this is the perfect place to go. So he gave us the instructions for that. Uh, the next place he was like, if you want proper Italian food, he gave us like his, uh, favourite bistro that he likes to go to. So he gave us his favourite bistro, like bistro he likes to go to. So that was our number one choice to be honest. And then he, um, he said to us, like, if you really fancy a steak, there is one place. He said it's not traditional Italian, but it's very, very nice. And during the the five days we were, we eventually, we went to all three. We went, we went for the seafood to begin with. Uh, so he took a walk down to the old Fisherman's Harbour. That was spectacular. And I don't know if I've got any pictures, if I have, I'll, I'll not put it here. Um, it, oh, the view, amazing. He said to us, like, there's two places you can go to. He said, you can either go to the place that's on the, the pier. He said, don't go there, though. You'll pay triple the price for exactly the same food. He said, it is nice, but it's very expensive. And then he said, the place that I'm sending to you now. He said it's owned by like a local family. They live down the street from him. And he said the food there, you'll never taste anything better. So I went there, got our food, and he was right. Jesus Christ. I had uh, I had clams and spaghetti. And I've never had clams before. I thought I'll give it a go. Never had it before, give it a go. And oh my god one of the nicest things I've ever tried. And my uh, my fiance got the seafood risotto. Like that. She let me try a little bit of that. So I tried octopus for the first time as well. Oh my god. Like, my some of my favourite food I've ever eaten was in that city. The uh, the big shocker was when I turned around to him and said, Oh what red wine would you recommend? And he said, Oh which budget? So just said to him how many in euros. He said it doesn't have to be anything special. I just want something to drink while I'm eating my dinner. And he was like, oh, the, the house wine I'd really recommend it. He said well, you can either get in half a litre or a litre at a time. I was like, Jesus Christ. So how, what, how drunk do you think I'm going to get? He turned around to me. He was like, he's just laughing to himself. He went, I'll get you a glass and you can try it on the house free. So me and my fiance try it and both our eyes lit up. I was like, oh, no, my God, this is the house wine. This is the house wine. What's, what's the expensive wine taste like? And he said, oh, no, it's not like in England. It's like, the house wine isn't just the cheap stuff. The house wine is what the owner's, it's the owner's favourite wine. So, eight euros for a litre of red wine. Couldn't believe it. Like, it was some of the nicest stuff I've ever had. Like, we've said to each other since we got back that that is somewhere where we definitely want to go back to. We've always said we want, we don't want to go back to anywhere soon. Like the same place over and over and over again. We like to go and see new places, but this place, oh my God. It's like, it felt, as soon as we got there, it felt like a second home. We were sat outside just a little coffee shop. And once again, some of the nicest coffee I've ever had is ruined coffee for me. I, I love coffee, I my favorite drink. I can't go a day without a cup of coffee. Sat outside this, outside this little coffee shop, one euro fifty cup of coffee, cheaper than any Costa or Starbucks or whatever, whatever your local uh, coffee uh, chain coffee shop is. 
cheaper than there by far. Sat there, a little Americano, watching the world go by, and thought to myself, I could do this for the rest of my life. Like, and so especially sat across from my partner. And she was like, I spoke to her about it afterwards, and she was like, yeah, I feel the same way. I'd love to just go back there. I just see all the bits we didn't have time to see because everything we saw, we went to Pompeii, we went on a, we took a tour of the Amalfi Coast, we uh, we saw loads of that region of uh, the Amalfi, of Amalfi, and oh my god, talk about a jewel. So yeah, that was just a little bit of what I've been thinking about today, like I'd love to go, like I'm looking forward to going on holiday again, looking forward to seeing how the kids react to another country. Uh, I think it's going to be an eye opener for them. They don't have a clue. They uh, they think we're not going on holiday this year, and what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to say to them like we're going out for the day. We need to get up early. We're going to go, we're going to we'll go camping or something like that. So to justify the suitcases, and we're going to drive to the airport and see how long it takes them it takes for it to dawn on them. Where we're gonna, like we're not going camping. We're going to be going abroad, and we're going to be going on a plane. I can just imagine they're going to be stupidly excited. So, yeah. But yeah, if you like this, I plan on doing more. Every time I have anything, don't know how regular it's going to be, hopefully at least a couple of weeks, well, at least one a week. So yeah, if you like what you're seeing, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.